Have you ever gotten your ass beat so bad that you just wanna end it all? Without being able to do anything to the freaks of nature. As soon as you get close, you get slapped across your face and fly a meter back, disappointing every crane god out there. Well, I got the solution to your problems. I'll show you how I gave every freak of nature a beating they'll never forget, while also giving you tips and tricks so you'll be able to do the same. So grab your notepad, a pen, and let's get right into it. The first freak of nature we'll deal with is Holler. At least, I think that's how you say his name. Anyways, he's located close to the water place from Mission 2, as you can see on the map. I recommend you take care of the regular zombies first, so they won't interfere with your boss fight. You can see that I used the house to my advantage, as it allowed me to take care of them without the big boy attacking me. Now that that's taken care of, you can fight the big boy himself. First thing you should know is that you can't fully dodge the zones he throws at you. You'll always get hit with splash damage if you try, so instead try to hide behind something like a house. The easy way to kill him is to break his armor with a shotgun and finish him with a melee weapon. Just only attack when he rushes you and hits a wall, that'll stun him long enough for you to get a few hits in. Otherwise if you attack, you'll get bishlet to the next decade. And that's him taken care of. The next freak on the list is Tor, the bane of my existence. He's located at the end of the bridge right here. Tor is the freak that took me about 15 minutes to defeat, with every second being more painful than the last. And everyone wonders why I'm a DC fan. Everything about him is annoying. He's immune to fire. Really, nigga? Poison, and crossbow does almost no damage. Also, this isn't confirmed, but I think that he's immune to headshot damage as well. Every time I shot him in the face, it did no damage. So if you use guns to kill him, shoot him in the belly. The best advice I can give you is that if you can't get far from his attack, then just jump. That way you won't get hit with the splash damage of his attacks. The way I defeated him was hit him twice, dodge backwards, and jump to avoid the splash damage. Then go hit him twice and repeat until he dies. And I'd rather end myself than to fight him again. Next we'll deal with these two bots, Kalaft and David. They're located on a remote island way out here. You don't have to worry about them at all. They're so easy to kill that you won't have any problems. I kill David first cause he's faster and then I kill Kalaft. And yeah, nothing else to say about them. Now we will deal with the real big boy, the behemoth. He's located in a warehouse right here. It's pretty far from the main safe house. You can think of him as a regular demolisher, just bigger. I recommend going in from the top and using all the gas tanks up there before going down. But be careful, as the splash damage from the stones he throws does go through the floor. After you've used all of them at the top, go down and get rid of every regular zombie still alive. Then to finish him off, lure him to the explosive barrels and shoot them with a crossbow or a gun. That should kill him, but I missed a few gas tanks, so I had to finish him off with DIY grenades. You could also kill him with ranged weapons, but the gas tanks are much quicker. The last freak of nature will take care of his pills up all. He's located in a future safe house way out here, but not that far from the last freak. He's also not a really easy freak to take care of. And the only thing you'll need is DIY grenades. They're easy to craft, so you should be able to make enough of them to kill him. Go in from the same place as I did and hide behind these blue barrels. That'll protect you from his speed attack. Then take care of the regular zombies as always. And start yeeting those DIY grenades. As you can see it's hella effective and the only danger that you'll be in are the virus that come because of the sound. And yeah, that's him taken care of as well. And that's every freak defeated. If you wanna know if Dying Light is still worth buying then watch the video on the left.